Who knew at six a historic find and a significant one at that in Tennessee's oldest town. Historians believe they found a grave marking the final resting place of cholera victims from the late 1800s. Yeah, and we spoke with the historians who made this remarkable discovery. 150 years ago, an epidemic of cholera struck the South. After disease left dozens of people dead in 1873, historians say they found the site where many of them may have been buried. Mid-July through early August, and the town goes down to 100 people, and out of those 100 people, somewhere between 30 to 40 people will pass away. The event was forgotten by many in the community, but members of the Heritage Alliance never stopped searching for the fabled grave. Gordon Edwards, a volunteer at the cemetery for over a decade, made it his personal mission. With help from local archaeologist Dr. Robert Jones, the two have scanned the area with ground-penetrating radar. There's uh, uh, always been this lurking tale of a mass grave out there, so it's always been on my radar to try to find it. This year, a photo and a hunch led them to an overgrown corner of the cemetery. Seeing it so many times, when he ran the radar over this site, it was like, whoa. Edwards and Jones found a 12 foot by 12 foot patch of ground full of disturbances as deep as 14 feet. None of the graves they've scanned in the past look like it. This, which is as big a button as we can put on it, um, you know, without actually digging. So we feel very satisfied with that. While the grave has been found, the team doesn't know exactly how many people were buried there or who they were.